A Kente weaving village is soon to be established at Kwetoi in the Adaklu Anigbe district of the Volta region. The establishment of the village is to help boost the activities of Kente weavers in the region. A decision is taken by the government to collaborate with the West African Trade Hub and other interested groups to develop a business concept with the weavers on how best to improve the operations of the weavers. It is also to help establish the area as a unique center for showcasing kente made in the Volta region to the outside world. Kente is an indigenous hand-woven cloth made by the Ashantis and Evers of Ghana and Togo. The cloth is regarded as a symbol of social prestige and class. Kente is said to have developed in the 17th century and won by royalty. With time, economic wealth made it possible for most people to own at least one kente cloth. Today, it is worn around the world. Every kente cloth has a name. The names are often proverbial, reflect religious and traditional beliefs, historical events or famous people such as chiefs. The kente cloth is said to be the best known and the most widely recognized African textile. It has been declared a World Heritage Treasure by UNESCO. Bold designs, bright multicolored patterns, a touch of geometry and the insinuation of royalty make Kinte the icon of African cultural heritage around the world. The fabric has the ability to evoke powerful emotions and symbolizes some of the most fundamental human ideals connected to its owners on a personal level. With over 500 weaving designs and still counting, one can be assured of his or her own style of kente. Kente has also become an indispensable element of royal regalia. The country's first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, used the cloth to emphasize African pride during the era of decolonization. Since then, Heads of state of the country have regularly won kente, especially for special and ceremonial occasions such as swearing in ceremonies. In the Volta region of Ghana, Petoy, the capital of Adaklu Anigbe district, is built around the kente cloth and, as such, sometimes referred to as the town with a beat after the clicks and clatter of weavers. Kente is produced on a large scale within the Adaklu Anigbe district. This notwithstanding, demands for the cloth locally far exceeds its supply. Satisfying the international market therefore becomes a challenge. According to most of these weavers, a little push in the form of funds, facilities and training is all that they need to produce good and quality Kente cloth for both the local and international market. During a recent interaction with the Minister for Trade and Industry, Madame Hanatete, the weavers made it known that the acquisition of yarns for weaving is their major challenge. The Trade and Industry Minister Hanatete announced government's decision to help them improve the operations through the development of a business concept with the various associations and the establishment of a center where they will showcase their products to the rest of the world. Madame Hanatete gave a framework of how the facility will be done and urged the people to embrace it and work hard to make it a success. Your capital is 500 Ghana, your capital is 1,000 Ghana, and you are going to the factory to go and order the yarn. It's difficult for you, isn't it? So if we have your craft village here as the place that we order in bulk, at the end of the day they can do that order for you then it will make it easier for you to get your yarn for your weekly business. So that's one of the things we want to look at. The director for the West Africa Trade Hub, Vanessa Adams, expressed the interest of the U.S. government to partner with the government of Ghana to improve and sustain small and medium-scale enterprises in the Ghanaian economy. She also urged the people to be creative and strive to meet international standards. The colors of Kente are all significant. Yellow represents wealth and spirituality. Pink stands for calmness, red sacrifice or struggle, blue stands for harmony and love, while green signifies growth and fertility. Purple represents healing. Purity and joy are symbolized by silver and black represents maturity.
So next time you pick up a kinti cloth to buy, look critically at the colors to bring out the meaning you seek to portray or carry across.